we're here at uh, Huawei, and uh, you're talking about uh, Wi-Fi. Wireless LAN, wireless LAN uh, for, uh, and uh, for small medium business, wireless LAN and router. So here in this corner, we are introducing the new product for the small medium business. We have introducing uh, the, uh, the router, the small router for the AR200 series and the AR150 series. Then we are introducing uh, the wireless LAN product. So for uh, distributed antenna system, yeah, distributed antenna system or indoor router, sorry, indoor access point. So with the uh, internet and power over internet, second uh, uh, feed and the console, very nice design. As you can see here, we can arrive up to uh, 300 megabit per second, and we can have a dual frequency from uh, 2 to 5 gigabit and 5, five uh, gigabit. Then we have the outdoor access point. So this one is the outdoor access point with the 5 gigabit, 2 to 5 gigabit, uh, power over Ethernet, fiber interconnection. Uh, it can cover up to 5 kilometers. 5 with kilometers the, with, yeah. with what? Wi Fi? Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah, five, 5 kilometers. <laughs> yes. And we have developed a specific algorithm to reach. Uh, this performance. So As the power goes in yes. somewhere? Yeah, and, and uh, power over the internet, so internet and power, okay. it's a feed in this way. And it's run uh, like this, so it sustains any water and all that? Of course, yeah. it's uh, for outdoor uh, type of application. So here, you, as you can see, we have advanced uh, quality of service functionalities uh, for voice, video, and uh, data application. We have integrated the security, encryption, firewall system, intrusion detection system, many functionality, and overall plug and play functionalities. So you, you, you install the box and you forget it. Everything else is done automatically from the network management. Are there many of these on the market right now? Uh, they will be introduced uh, for the first customer in uh, uh, July. July? July. July is the time frame. How much does it cost? Uh, ask for a quotation, depending on how much you want to buy. So, uh, depending on the money, the, the, the pieces you want to buy. So, how many? Uh, then we have here the small, no, that's the small business, business uh, uh, switch. Here we have a different type of uh, switches. Uh, that's the amena switch. And we have two uh, web mana switch. Let me go back uh, to the air router. So we did, for the we did a video already uh, of this one. Is this the same uh, we were talking about before with the? Yes, this has uh, uh, actually we, we can see from here you can uh, plug in uh, uh, the voice up to five. Uh, uh, sorry, up to four phone. The FXO to connect to the PSDN. We have up to eight uh, fast Ethernet. We can have up, even up to four. Uh, uh, power over Ethernet, ADSL uh, connection. We have a model with the ADSL and uh, the uh, 3G interconnection for backup, uh, Wi Fi. So many different uh, types of products here. So, uh, wh what we say for this box is everything in one. So we have uh, uh, security functionality, routing, uh, switching functionality, uh, QS functionalities, everything double uh, interconnection so for for the backup so these are the fixed one and we can go to the the modular ARG3 router same family more powerful we have uh, more flexibility the main functionality of this router compared to the other in the market are the multi core CPU technologies with this one we can arrive up to uh, up to 12 core technologies very advanced, twice as much the performance that the other vendor can achieve. So we have, uh, tell me. So, so what is the uh, processors inside? Is it high silicon? Uh, we have uh, the switching, the high silicon switching for gigabit switching. So as you can see here, we can achieve up to 160 gigabit uh, switching capacity. Plus we have uh, a CPU for uh, managing uh, the uh, the, the, the WAN trap. So is that the high silicon ARM Cortex A9? Uh, I don't know. 
be honest, uh, I need so to do some What kind of processors are needed in all these routers? Yeah, in, uh, we have a dual core processor, a plus integrated uh, H uh, silicon for, uh, uh, for switching. So we have a switching plus a routing integrated in, uh, in one box. We have a voice functionality, IPBX functionalities, as I was mentioning before, all uh, with a double WAN interconnection. Very useful uh, for, for example, ADSL 2 Plus, SHDSL, and a 3G interconnection. So, uh, the advantage of Huawei, what is Mainly that? Mainly is uh, performance. Performance? Uh, uh, is um, twice as much the performance that you can achieve with other, with other uh, vendor and uh, very, very robust uh, and stable operating system, our VRP. Very, very stable and uh, re reliable. What is the operating system based on v Linux or? Uh, I don't know. The Huawei? It's, it's Huawei. I don't know, but it's really, yeah. Okay. yeah. So here we are entering in the switching section. So we have uh, switching for uh, the access, uh, uh, unmanaged switch, web managed switch, full managed switch, Fast Ethernet, Gigabit Ethernet, Layer 2 switch, 2700 family, uh, Fast Ethernet, Layer 2, and here we have uh, the Layer 3 uh, switching for uh, Fast Ethernet. All these two, uh, all the family you see here, are meant uh, for uh, both uh, the internal of the enterprise, but also for uh, uh, to build a metropolitan area network, a, map, a, a metro Ethernet uh, uh, environment. We have MPLS, fast rerouting mechanism. We have built-in hardware mechanism to detect the fault in 3.3 milliseconds. And all our product feature very, very low power consumption with a, a patent that we have, we have developed that is called uh, we have the hibernation, uh, automatic hibernation mode. All the equipment can go in the hibernation mode and you can save up to 40% of your power consumption. This is the new generation of uh, uh, switching, the 9700 with the 7.68 terabit of capacity, 40 gigabit, 96 times 40 gigabit, or 100 gigabit and up to 480 times 10 gigabit. Very powerful integrated firewall, netting, intrusion detection system, everything, and the wireless LAN access control. And this is our, the other chassis we have in our product portfolio. Smaller than this is the, the, the son of the big brother. So, here, so it's uh, the uh, S7700. Uh, the chassis for uh, the access, and this is the 9312. Uh, the chassis is a very uh, mature and stable product that we have uh, since uh, several years in the market. Going here, we have uh, our firewall uh, technologies with uh, uh, the Huawei Symantec joint venture. The Huawei bought in uh, December very high performance uh, firewall. Intrusion detection system, MPLS inside, pawn access technologies, and, uh, and so on. Going right. on the back one here, we can uh, find uh, other products. We have uh, the uh, core routing products, the NE40. We can have up to 100 or 40 gigabit per slot. This is used also in the service provider market and the enterprise market. In the enterprise market, to build uh, a, uh, you can build a, a campus, you can use it uh, in the uh, data center to connect uh, into the WAN or in the smart grid to build up uh, a, uh, a MAN technology. Yeah. So, uh, high-end uh, router. And then we have, uh, I mean, one of the, our core technologies, the optical uh, uh, technologies. We are ranked number one in the world uh, for uh, WDM. We can reach uh, 100 gigabit times uh, uh, 80 channels for 2,500 kilometers. We have advanced forward error correction mechanism 
to, uh, to have a longer span and we have uh, the PID technologies uh, where we can achieve 20 times uh, 10 gigabit, so 200 gigabit uh, in uh, one chipset. This uh, can bring a lot of advantages in terms of space, in terms of power consumption and uh, in terms of uh, um, non-linear effect so you can avoid to spend a lot of money so, here. So this is a... The, the internet is built of, of, of a lot of these right now. No, so basically this is used uh, uh, a lot in the service provider market uh, to uh, to build uh, the, the backbone, the optical backbone in the service provider and uh, in the enterprise market uh, is used uh, from uh, government uh, is used uh, in the education. Every country has an education company that is connecting the university. We are connecting the biggest, the biggest company in the world uh, in China for this. We, uh, the other applications are in the railway, a lot of applications in the railway. In uh, the electrical company, oil company, in the oil company you need uh, to control uh, all the sensor every uh, certain amount of uh, kilometers. So you can use uh, this, all these solutions. So optical, next generation SDH, up to the access of the SDH, where we can combine the uh, uh, Ethernet and uh, uh, TDM technologies. Going up, we have our microwave product in order to connect to so have a point-to-point -point interconnection, and the GPON. GPON technologies <coughs> is a user uh, for the fiber uh, to the building, fiber to the home, fiber to the FTTH type of application. In the enterprise market, is used mainly in uh, the uh, smart grid scenario to build uh, a more reliable, cost-effective solution for those smart grids that have a fiber interconnection.